Good. Well, I, worked, I guess a lot of pressure periods of light. How, how much has that helped? How do you think you guys have done in those situations? Oh, it's great. I mean, working on our different answers versus uh, different fronts and different looks, and just coming back to them. And I feel like we've done a good job of not making the same mistake twice and picking them up after we've seen them. So it's like a game week when you're able to go through the pressure tape and dial in on what you're doing on all these looks. We're kind of getting to the point where we've kind of built that. Uh, log of what we've seen against our guys, and, I've, and it's good to see the progress we've made as of now. We talked to Nick today, and he said, you know, out of these padded practices, the three veteran receivers, maybe particularly Tyler, have brought so much back inform information-wise out of the practices to him and, and to you. Can you tell us a little bit about the kind of things they're bringing out of the practices that are then applicable? I think we've gotten just a lot of reps already against these guys. Uh, not just the padded practices, but being able to see how they're playing outside, the leverage that what they're playing with, and how that can affect you know the tops of their routes a little bit. Whereas before, you know they might have tried a couple of things that I wasn't really ready for. Whereas now we've talked about it, and they can be a little more sure about the location of the ball and uh, where they're going to be. So that, along with you know getting the pads on in the run game stuff, all, all the responsibilities in the run game, being able to really get in there and dig out who they need to, and um, knowing when they have to do their responsibilities with seeking out or uh, what have you. So they've done a good job on both ends, the run of the pass game. Uh, it's good that we're finally starting to play some real football. Along those lines, do you feel like today was a, a sharper, cleaner day for you guys than maybe yesterday was? Oh, 100%. I mean, we just, from an operations standpoint alone, uh, we still can't, you know, first time on the call-up period, first time in this whole camp where we didn't have our script and defense didn't know what defense they were running, and it was just kind of call it. And, I mean, just start with the uh, – you know, five yard penalty, first and 15, it's not a great way to, you know, get that started. Other than that, it felt like we were pretty clean yesterday, a lot of false starts and, uh, you know, huge center exchanges that just can't happen. And looks like today it's a good job getting back on track and getting things more solid. Sorry. Uh, Nick was mentioning some things um, he saw this year here in the offseason that, that you would throw the ball away sometimes or, or uh, you know, Instead of trying to jam it into a wide receiver, which you said he saw maybe sometimes last year in clips or early in the offseason, is that a conscious effort, you know, on your part to, to maybe do that a little bit? Yeah, it's both. Like I had one today in the red zone where um, I know I'm not getting hit, and I was kind of in between one of those throw away or try to jam it in there on like a redirect. Um, you know, it's just uh, I'm, I'm going to go back and watch it. Uh, maybe I would have wanted to throw it, but uh, if I'm not sure, just learning to throw it away and. Also having confident in my arms, confidence in my arm at the same time. So um, it's a fine line, and I'm going to keep pushing the ball, keep taking those shots, and, and figuring out what my limitations are. Well, is there anyone who's maybe surprised you, a free agent or a rookie, who you're either building chemistry with really fast, or seems to have picked up the playbook really quickly? Is there anyone who you're surprised at this point? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm giving love to Lloyd up front. Like he's just done a good job carrying those dudes and um, taking everything from Bill from the meetings and bringing it into any period that we're doing. Um, just doing a good job getting the calls out and, and helping me uh, with the protection and um, everything. So there's a lot of guys I could name, but uh, you know he's he's been the leader for those guys up front, and we're lucky to have him. How do you feel about the competition on the right side of the line? Is that something that's tough for you to adjust to, knowing that there's going to be some bodies that are going in and out while you're in there? Uh, no, I think it's more of a a feel thing. Like you can't play the game depending on who's in the game. You got to just um, feel out. As the plays come in, like where your space is, and uh, as we get more film on our guys and who we know are going to be starting, it's more like more likely against, more likely you going to because who we're going against and their pass rush technique, where I might know where my you know pockets are, but uh, it's good for them. They know that you know there's there's competition and it's, it's pushing them every day, and we're excited to get Nick back too and, and work him in there, and uh, but proud of how those guys have worked. You have three guys who are Bible number one receivers. Like, how do you go about that process of making sure that everybody eats? Yeah, especially during camp, like you, you want to spread the ball around and you want to give guys love and show them that you have confidence in them and trust in them and that you're going to be coming to them with the ball. Uh, it's also on our you know play callers and, and everyone on the staff to script things for certain guys and getting it communicated to, to me or um, the other quarterbacks what we're really trying to get done with this play. Um, you know, like there's a situation today where uh, you know. It's, First and long, trying to pump a go ball down the field when we can just get ourselves to a manageable uh, second down situation. Uh, but that's just because I you know, want to work on that with Calvin and being able to complete those down the field are going to be big for us. So um, 
I'm going to keep coming at guys. I'm going to keep pushing the ball, but also got to do a good job of understanding situations, especially once we get into these call-up periods and starting to play the game more game-like. Is it tough to take that mindset of, I'm going to just throw to the open guy as opposed to, like, I know I can trust how I'm going to just give him the ball? Like, is it tough to adjust to that? Um, yeah, it's, it's probably not the best to have that mindset, I'd say. You really just want to find the open guy. But it might be a thing like, hey, if it's not wide open, um, I got – whoever on a backside dagger that I really want to work this. Um, and it might let you get you through progression a little faster. Um, but in a game, it's, it's a different thought process. But when we're in camp or seven on, stuff like that, where we can kind of experiment with that, um, that, that's the time to do it. What's the process been like of developing the rhythm with Calvin, especially because he's so quick in and out of his breaks, maybe more than anybody out there? Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been good. I mean. We, we just got to keep working. I think especially just the balls down the field. It would be really cool to see us start connecting more on those, um, judging his speed and talking about him holding space out there and, and being able to either run underneath it or separate from the defender. But um, yeah, he's so dang fast. Like you, you, sometimes you got to throw a ball a little differently to you know get him right. So one on one, so you're just chucking it to Calvin. Is that you throwing it as hard as you can, or just kind of what is the, the timing on those? Uh, it's three and a hitch, and it's 50 yards down the field. So it's not a lot of guys that you have to take three and a hitch and then throw it 50. So, um, yeah, like we have different ways that we're going to be trying to attack that, and um, we just got to hone in on them and work on them more. Skill set standpoint, Will, have you noticed anything about Jaquan Jackson? Uh, he's been great. He's, he's first of all, he's a really hard worker. You know, I see him in here getting ready, prepared for practice, always coming to me with questions and making sure that you know he's got his responsibilities down, which is uh, great to see. Um, and he's fast as I'll get out. And it's, it's cool to see him get out that back door yesterday and um, show off his legs. But uh, just a you know smooth catcher. He's a good route runner. Um, I mean, he's going to keep getting better and gain more confidence, but I've been very, very pleased with him. That is Brownlee on the other side of the ball. Yeah, he's been all over the place. Yeah, he's been, he's been a great player. Um, Great locker room presence. You know, he's right there in my corner of the locker room, so it's fun to hear him and the, the other uh, rookies mess around a little bit. But uh, he's a heck of a player. I, I recognize those neon cleats. I, I know I know his deal out there, and um, you know someone to be weary about for sure. What do you feel most comfortable about right now on the field? <laughs> what I feel most comfortable, I'd say, in our drop back pass game series, like the main concepts that we really want to make the identity of our offense. I feel really good about that, and obviously that's the. Um, idea for us as quarterbacks is to have those few families that we can really call at any point and feel like we have an answer and feel comfortable with. And I feel good about where we're at as a whole group with all of those. It's more of the more um, detailed, like coverage specific uh, plays that, uh, you know, we just got to dive in on a little more and then I can gain some more confidence on. Empty game stuff we can get a lot better with and something that I think can be a really good weapon for us uh, upfront protection wise and just like for me knowing my options and knowing where we can spit it out. Um, but yeah, I just say that base drop back pass game has been uh, pretty good for us. Are you a guy that, that gets rid of social media uh, during the season and, and during training camp? Or, or uh, I've never like deleted it, but I definitely limit my use, and I'm not like looking at anything that's what's being said about whatever. But um, no, I'm not. I don't delete it. Teammates ever talk about that? About how much time we should be paying attention to social media or not? Did, if you've ever been involved in discussion like that? Uh, yeah, I think that everyone knows, and we try to have meetings to, you know, with our staff about how we're supposed to handle ourselves on social and uh, how to appropriately use it. Um, I think most guys have a good enough head on their shoulders to understand that. Um, but we talk about it a lot, and it's, it's, it's all about everyone in this building and uh, nobody else. So people can say what they want uh, about whatever, um, but I think it's just on us to make sure it doesn't affect us mentally and um, can't let us affect how we come into work every day. Yeah. Appreciate you. Thank you, guys.